An inmate who's suing a local jail after he says he suffered severe injuries when he fell out of a bed is now filing another lawsuit against a police department. He says he was the victim of excessive force by police and now has two lawsuits seeking a total of more than $150,000. 24 hour news says Barton Dieters is here with the details and the video of that man's fall from the bed. Barton. Ron McKee's two lawsuits seat more than $75,000 each, plus fees. They're from the same attorney from the east side of the state. The first came from October of 2015, after McKee was sentenced to six months of the Van Buren County Jail for receiving and concealing stolen property. Now here's jail video showing the fall that he took there. In October of 2015, jail staff had instructions to keep then 37-year-old McKee on the bottom bunk. But he was moved to a top bunk despite the fact he suffered from epilepsy. In a lawsuit filed in August, McKee claims it was a seizure that led to him taking this face plant out of the bunk after an afternoon nap only four days after he was sentenced. He complained about being in the top bunk and they told him too bad, deal with it. 24 Hour News 8 talked to his attorney Christopher Trainer last month. He says Borges Hospital determined that McKee had a broken nose, cracked eye socket, broken shoulder, and head injuries. Headaches, he's got blurry vision, he's got... Uh, um, memory problems. Trainer said it was up to the jail to keep McKee safe while he was in their custody. McKee was released from jail soon after his injury and a month later was being pulled over by a Benton Harbor officer, according to the new lawsuit filed Wednesday. The suit claims the officer tore McKee's shirt pulling him out of his pickup truck after McKee failed to provide identification. It also says the officer threw McKee to the ground, re-injuring a bum shoulder. McKee was then driven to the Benton Township Police Department, where the officer allegedly, quote, slammed plaintiff into a wall and threw plaintiff to the ground. The suit says McKee told police his shoulder was hurt, but he was ignored. After McKee provided his name, he was released without charge, the suit alleges. The new suit names the city and the township and two officers. McKee did 15 years in prison for a 1995 armed robbery. After the incidents mentioned in the lawsuit, McKee pleaded guilty to a March 2016 breaking and entering, for which he remains on probation. People make mistakes, and you're brought to jail, you pay for your mistakes, you're not abused, you're not punished further. Now, the suits are making their way through the system, and it'll likely be several months before any resolution is reached. However, in the first lawsuit, the parties have agreed to contract with a mediator. Live in studio control, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.